Thomas Bart Gear with Trackify X, and in this video, I will show you an overview of the analytics tab in Trackify. So we are here on the analytics tab. It's uh, just a development testing store, and we're going to minimize the sidebar here so we have an, more space to see um, the features and the reports. Now, when you first install Trackify, um, this is going to look completely empty because you will only see the data that was collected and generated by Trackify. Trackify Analytics reports all have three main sections. Here on top, you will see a table with data for all items in the report. Down below, you see a graphic representation of conversion data. And then the third section is a daily breakdown chart that pops up when you click on any of the individual items up here in the name column. We will go over each component in detail. So first, let's look at the report structure up here in the table. We have columns for the main conversion events, starting with view content, customized product, add to cart, initiate checkout, and purchase. And then you have additional columns that show conversion rates between these main funnel steps, starting here with view content to add to cart conversions, then add to cart to purchase, and also view content to purchase conversion rates in this column over here. If there are any purchase events, you will also see the total revenue over here in this column and the grand total of all conversion events that were generated by this item in this, in this row. Up at the top of the table, you have your selection controls where you can select the report type. You can see we have reports available by pixel, products, tags, devices, UTM tags, and geolocation. Next to that is the date range selection where you can select the date range you're looking at. And then over here, you see a search field. You can use that to narrow down the list if you are looking at a long list of tags or other items and you only want to look at a specific one or a group of them. You can click on the column headers to sort the table by specific event types and even by conversion type in ascending or descending order. At the bottom of the table, you can control how many rows are shown per page and you can scroll through the pages if there are more than one. The conversion chart shows data for the top five items in the table above, and it updates whenever you change the sort order, date range, or when you filter the content of the table using the search field. You can hide specific items from this chart to narrow down your view if you want to look at any specifics. The conversion chart shows the data for the conversion ratio type that you select in this drop down here either view content to add to cart, add to cart to purchase, or view content to purchase. You can access the daily details report for any item in the table by clicking on its name. The detailed report shows a list of all collected event types on the left with the summary values of conversion ratios that are your key performance indicators. Over here in this table, you can see fluctuations by day, and this shows additional valuable data and conversion rates between the main funnel events broken down by day. The date range is the same as what you selected in the overview page. You can also look at the chart representations of that data when you scroll down here. Play around with the controls here to discover the data that is most meaningful to you. Click anywhere outside of this pop-up to close it. One more remark about the different report types. Data for most reports is generated and collected automatically. But there are two reports that depend on the way you set up the data in your shop and in your ads. These are the reports by tags and by UTM parameters. The report by UTMs is the only one that is able to attribute the conversion data to specific traffic sources. This can be very powerful if you set up your campaigns consistently with a full set of UTM tags. You will be able to track conversions and attribution much more completely and in more detail than in Facebook reports because with Trackify, you collect the data as a first party so you are not subject to the dreaded restrictions that have been imposed on Facebook by the most recent iOS updates, for example. 
And again, this data can only be collected if you generate it. The first step to this is to learn in detail about UTM parameters and to set them up consistently for all your ad campaigns. Similarly, the report by tags requires consistent tagging of the products in your shop. This report collects data only for tags that have been formatted according to our convention here. The tags need to start either with PP underscore or with RR underscore track underscore. And again, if you do this consistently in your shop, you will be able to generate great reports that group together products according to any criteria that is meaningful to you and that you set up with those tags. Please feel free to reach out to our support team so we can point you to additional resources that we have available. And now enjoy the powerful new features of the Trackify Analytics Reports. Mm -hmm.